First Chronicles 6, Levi, the sons of Levi, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari, the sons of Kohath, Amram, Isar, Hebron, and Uziel, the temple Solomon built in Jerusalem. Azariah, the father of Amariah, Amariah, the father of the Hittah, the Hittah, the father of Zadok, Zadok, the father of Shalom, Shalom, the father of Hilkiah, Hilkiah, the father of Azariah, Azariah, the father of Sariah, and Sariah, the father of Jozadok. Josedak was deported when the Lord sent Judah and Jerusalem into exile by the hand of Nebuchadnezzar. Good morning YouTube and welcome back to my channel Life of Deja. Today is Monday, I believe October 21st. Um, I'm about to head down to the gym, get my workout in, and then come back and clean my house. And yeah, that's all that's on my agenda today. It's like 1 p.m. and I'm really just kind of getting up and at it with my day because I had a long day at work the other day, so yesterday was me trying to edit and get my video up. I'm so sorry that the video was late, but I was running off of fumes, trying to stay up to get it edited, and I, that didn't work out, so I, it was just a lot. But I got it up, I got it up late, so I'll link that video up above if you wanted to see how I redid my bathroom. Um, so I'll link that video up above. Be sure to check that one out, but yeah. So yesterday after that, I just kinda, 
ate something real quick and I went back to sleep. I kept going in and out of sleep like I woke up, talked to one of my friends for a little bit that I haven't talked to in a while. And then after I hung up with her, I ate something and I got right back, took a shower, got right back in the bed. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> Yesterday wasn't really a real day. It was, it was, I don't know. I don't even know. Every time I woke up, I didn't know. Like I was dazed and confused. You know, you take a nap and it's a long nap and you wake up later than you anticipate, like you were sleep longer than you thought you was gonna be and you wake up, you don't know what's going on, what day it is. You just feel like you lost so much time. That was me all day yesterday, like in and out and just, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, here we are today. I'm trying to get back in the gym. I took a whole week off of the gym from my cycle and then issues that I had going on with my car just kind of took me out of the mood. I don't think I told you guys, but I went to go to work one morning to start my car. Car did not start. Turns out I had a dead battery, but I got one of my maintenance men to jump me, but my car still wouldn't start. So I had to wait for one of my, a mechanic to come out and look at my car and he used his jump box and the car started right up. And I was like, he's like, oh, yeah, it might've just been you had bad cables or whatever. And I was like, okay, that's fine. But I'm just happy it started. So he's like, yeah, but you need a new battery. Goes to get a new battery. Tell me why y'all though. I was like, really? It didn't even tell me like the battery light didn't come on the dash or anything like that. He was like, yeah, he dusted off my battery. He said, this battery is from 2016. The date on my battery said like September 2016. <laughs> Mind you, I bought my car brand new and my car is a 2017. So that's like the factory battery. And he was like, you, you, you did good eight years <laughs> with this battery and you know problems. I said, this is the first time this, anything like this has ever happened. Like. God was on my side. I don't know. My God was God and he protected me for eight long years with that battery. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so I had to go buy a new battery and everything like that. So that was fine. But yeah, I just thought I'd tell you that. And every time I tell somebody my battery lasted me eight years, they're like, I had to replace my battery every three, four years. And I'm like, that's you. But my God don't play about me. He don't leave me stranded. Okay. He makes sure my car is right. He makes sure I'm right. Like, I don't know. God's favor is hot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But I mean, I'm going to just leave that there. But yeah, so let me stop rambling. I'm like, honestly probably in here procrastinating because I know today's going to be hard. I've been taking a week off of the gym and also taking a week off of really eating right and focusing on what I'm eating. So this it's going to be a day. It's going to be a day. I don't know if I want to do legs or arms, but I think I'm going to just go ahead and start off with legs. So, I hopefully will see you in the gym, maybe. Maybe not. First person shooter mode, turning your son to a funeral. So them niggas to say they gon' office, you better be talking my work in a cubicle. Yeah, them boys had a lot, but I knew the code. A lot of niggas debating my numero. Not the three, not the two, I'm the UNO. Yeah. Numero, you and no. Me and Jersey, this shit like the Super Bowl. Man, this shit done in big as the... But the difference is, it's just two guys playing shit that they did in the studio. Niggas usually send they verses back to me and they be terrible just like a two-year-old. I love a dinner with some fine women when they start debating about who the gold. I'm like, go ahead, say it then. Who the gold? Who the gold? Who the gold? Who the gold? Who you bitches really rooting for? Like a kid that had been from January to November, nigga, it's just you and cold. Niggas so thirsty to put me a beef. I said to my words and start looking too deep. I look at the tweets and start sucking my teeth. I'm letting it rock cause I love them a seat. I still wanna give me a song who I be. Can't trust everything that you saw on IG. Just know if I diss you, I make sure you know that I hit you like I'm on your call ID. I'm naming the album to fall off. It's pretty ironic cause it ain't no fall off for me. Still in this bitch getting bigger. They waiting on the kid to come drop like a father to be. Love when they argue the hardest MC. Is it can't die, is it all for your me? We the big three like we started a league. But right now I feel like Muhammad Ali. Show up as motion picture blockbuster to go with the golden pen to 
top toucher, the spot rusher, spray this whole shit up the crap duster. Not rusher, but apply pressure to your cranium. My cold's automatic when aiming on with the boy in the status of stadium. Nigga. I'm back now. Yeah. I'm about to click out on this shit, I'm about to click, boom. I'm down to click out on you hoes and make a crime scene. I click the trigger on a stick like a high beam. And I was Benny Will real when I was 19. She called my number, leave her hanging, she got dry clean. She got an Android, her messages is lime green. I search one name and end up saying 20 teams. Nadine, Christine, Justine, Kathleen, Charlene, Pauline, Claudine. Man, I pack them in this phone like some sardines. And they send me naked pictures, it's just small things. You niggas still taking pictures on a golf stream. My youngest richer than you rappers and they all stream. I really hate that you been selling them some false dreams. Man, if your pub was up for sale, I'd buy the whole thing. Will they ever give me flowers? Well, of course not. They don't want to hear that talk because it's a sore spot. They know the boy, the one they got a boycott. I told Jimmy Jam I use a Grammy as a doorstop. Girl, give me some hair because I need it. And if I fuck with you that after, I might eat it. Niggas talking about when it's gonna be repeated. What the fuck, bro? I don't wanna wait from Michael. Nigga, beat it. Nigga, beat it. What? 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 Don't even pay me back on none of the favors. I don't need it. Legs is wobbly. Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Life of Deja. My name is Deja if you're new here, and I'm glad to have you. Um, so yeah, I just got back from the gym. I'm tired, boss. I'm tired. My legs, today was leg day. I was trying to take a, a clip in the gym, like a me post workout. Legs was shaking. That leg was Okay, I was like, girl, hurry up and take the clip so you can get out of here because these legs is finna get out. <sighs> so, yeah, that is that. Um, couple things I want to do today. <laughs> couple things I want to do today. Um... I'm drinking my protein shake now. Is um clean my house one because I set up the bathroom the other day and I was supposed to clean my house the yesterday, but the day before yesterday I didn't get off of work till like six a.m. and I slept for like two hours because then I had to try to get up at nine to try to edit my bathroom video, which I'll link up above if you haven't seen that yet. But I didn't get that done by 11, so I had to keep working on it until I got it done. I didn't end up getting it done till like 2.30ish. And then I had to upload it to YouTube and get all of that stuff situated, so I didn't get it posted until 3 p.m. Central Time. So then, like right after I got it posted, I ate something real quick and I went back to sleep and i was in and out of sleep all day yesterday yesterday didn't even feel like a real day like it felt like a you know you take a long 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 nap and you wake up dazed and confused that was yesterday that was yesterday for me it's a day um so yeah didn't clean my house yesterday i want to clean my house today i wanted to redo my hair today but I'm going to choose cleaning my house over that because it's already 3.30, almost 3.40. And I want to get this done today, like finally get in here, clean my living room, clean my kitchen, clean my bedroom. And um, I have a couple of things that I want to order on Amazon. I've been looking at guys for the mirror. Somebody posted on one of my other videos when I was saying I want to get lights for the mirror or like the mirror area and I was thinking about moving like the rope light from my bedroom out here and getting a bigger one for the bedroom. 
but somebody told me to look into getting battery powered sconces and I think that will be really cute. So that's what I'm looking at right now. Um, trying to see if I can find one that I really like that I think will look nice over there. I just don't know if I want it to go above the mirror or on the sides. Um, I feel like it should go above the mirror because I feel like on the sides it would be too much on the wall because it's not much space on the wall between like the painting and the mirror already and I don't really want to make it even smaller so I don't know so I don't know if I want to get one above the mirror or sconces on the side of a mi the mirror because like I said before I haven't seen any floor lamps that I really like and I don't want a lamp to sit on the top of the bar cart I like I just I don't think that's gonna be nice or cute so I have I don't know let me know what you guys think about the wall sconces idea like if I should do it above the mirror or on the sides um because I want to hopefully order that this week. Uh, there's some other things that I'm ordering for just my house in general. Um, so yeah. And then today, after I get in here and I clean the kitchen, I want to take out all of my old plates and bowls and stuff and put in my new ones. I'll link that video up above too if you haven't seen that yet where I did a huge Amazon Home Goods, Marshalls, haul target haul when I, I had a whole bunch of stuff i'll link that one above but yeah i have new plates and bowls um as well as new silverware but i want to take out all the things in my cabinets now like as far as like din dinnerware and dishware like plates bowls tupperwares i want to take all of those out of my cabinets and redo my cabinets um or at least these three cabinets and reorganize them with the new things in there just to make it more functional because the way I have it set up now doesn't make sense now that I haven't got a couple of new things so I want to do that um I want to go on Amazon and find a couple of other things I have some stuff in my car already but there's some other things that I want to order and get um I do want to go to Marshall's but I don't think I'm going to go to like Marshall's Home Goods today that might be a tomorrow thing Today, I think I want to go to HEB, but I might save that for tomorrow because I'm trying to be, I, I said this earlier, I don't know if I kept that clip or if I'm keeping that clip, so I said a lot of things again, so if I kept that clip, RIP, I'm sorry y'all, y'all had to listen to me say it twice, <laughs> but I just, I took a week off of the gym I had a lot going on between my car and then my cycle. It was just too much going on at once. So I took a week off of the gym. So today was my first day getting back in the gym. And I decided to go ahead and do legs. And I recorded it. So hopefully y'all got some of those clips in this vlog. Um, let me know if you guys like the gym content. I really want to do a gym series on my channel of like getting active, getting in the gym, getting consistent, dropping some weight. I want to do a series like that so if you guys are interested in that let me know because I would love to do a series like that I've been talking to my sister about it because she is a personal trainer how it could benefit us both if you know we we work on it together and I vlog the whole thing um and share it with you guys and you know we can we can kind of do it together so right now she's about to roll out a new program and of course I'm her little guinea pig <laughs> which I don't mind like it works it benefits both of us like she gets to have like a test patient a guinea pig or a test patient a test client a guinea pig which is me um and she's gonna go harder on me because I am her sister <laughs> love that for me and um yeah so she kind of wants me to try to really stick to and go hard this week like being consistent because consistency is one of my biggest struggles I'm working on that I am working on that. I have been praying on that for a long time. That is one of the things on my prayer board. But personal is to be consistent in a lot of things. Not only in the gym, in the in my word, in showing up and showing out for my friends. Not taking forever to text back. Like, I hate that about myself. And just, like, just being consistent. Just trying to be more aware and present in a lot of different things. So... Yeah, she's like, I really want you to have a perfect week this week as far as eating and working out and hitting all of these goals and stuff that I have. So I'm like, perfect is a crazy word. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to try. I'm going to give it my best shot. Um, surprisingly, when I got on the scale, I didn't 
like I've eaten crazy, like not eating crazy, like I've been mindful about the things that I've been eating. I haven't been eating like crazy junk food and stuff like that. Like I haven't been ODing on like a whole bunch of carbs and stuff like that, but I have been like eating whatever I want essentially. So, but surprisingly when I got on the scale this morning, I didn't gain any weight. So I guess whatever weight I did gain, I flushed it out or not flushed it out, but like, you know, it's gone come today. So yeah, I need to, y'all know, I just, I said all of this to say, um, I'm trying to get back into the mindful eating, but one of my biggest issues also with consistency and working out and things like that is I don't want to have to think about all the things that I need to do when it comes to food. Like, I don't want to have to cook it. Like, I don't like if I can just, for me, starting out something i can multitask but starting out something like consistency in a gym and staying and trying to get into my fitness era my fitness bag i need to focus on one thing at a time so my focus has really been trying to be consistent in the gym and the priority of foods and the things that i'm eating and meal prepping that comes second i don't feel like meal prepping i want to cook what i want to cook and then when i don't want to cook i want to have whatever it is that i want to have so which, you know, my sister's like, it's fine. You just got to be mindful about what you eat. And it's like, but I don't, I want to get what I want. And what I want is probably going to be some carbs. <laughs> so, I've been telling her for forever, just cook my meals. I give you the money. I give you the money for the groceries, for you to cook it for me. And just, you know, bring it to my house. I'll come pick it up. She like, no. I'm like, this could, th there go my consistency right there. You cook all my meals and all I gotta do is heat it up, boom, we done. But she refuses. I'm like, oh, girl. I'm saying all that to say, though I just spent $200 at the grocery store, this week I want to try to go to HEB and Trader Joe's just to kind of explore Trader Joe's because my friend put me on to Trader Joe's. Like, I went there one time and I understand hype, but I want to go there and get a couple of things, try some things. But also, I want to go to H-E-B because when me and my sister and my nephew was in the store the other day, we saw some pre-made meals that they had. And she was like, this could be a good thing for you since she don't want to meal prep. And I'm like, that's fine. So I think I want to get a couple of those for either lunch or dinner for the week because I do have some chicken thawing that I'm about to cook and throw into a salad and eat that salad now for lunch. But for the rest of the week, I kind of want to have something where it's not like I gotta cook every other day or every two days or something like that. It's just like, I can just toss whatever in the microwave or the oven real quick if I don't feel like cooking it. Or if I don't feel like cooking like a whole meal and thinking about protein and portions. And, cause that's another thing. I don't wanna track my food. I don't wanna have to track it. I just wanna eat it. If I gotta cook it and meal prep it, why do I also gotta track it and figure out what's in it? Ugh, no, it's too much. At least it's too much for me right now <laughs> and my mindset is closed off as far as tracking. Mm -mm. So I want to go to HEB and try out their pre-made individual lunches and dinners type of things. I don't know. And see how that goes. I might get like four or eight of them um, just for this week. That way I can try to be a little bit more on it and conscious of what I'm going to get. I also need to get those english cucumbers and one season for this salad that i want to try and yeah i think that's it but those might be tomorrow i think today i'm just gonna cook the chicken and throw it in a salad and eat that and then for dinner i'll eat the chicken and like some brown rice maybe i'll make a chicken rice bowl or something like that i don't know we'll fit we'll see but yeah <sighs> that's the plan for today and basically the plan for tomorrow. Um, I'm about to, when I finish this, this smoothie, I'm going to get up and start cleaning the kitchen so that I can make the chicken. And then um, like I might take the chicken out, season it up so I can marinate a little bit while I do the dishes and kind of load the dishwasher and then cook the chicken. That way once the chicken is cooked and I eat my salad, I can come back and fully clean the kitchen and the living room and then take everything out the cabinets and redo them. And yeah, but that's the plan for today. Um, I also got to move my bed because 
yesterday in my days and confusedness, um, I put my memory card, my SD card for my camera on my pillow. And then I moved my pillow and it fell behind my bed. Like inside, like between the bed and my headboard, like down there on the floor. So I got to move my mattress, find my SD card because now I'm only going to have one. Luckily I have my big one and that was my smaller one, but still like I need that one too. Do that and then, yeah. Finish my laundry. Um, I have one more load of clothes to wash, but I have like four loads of clothes to fold and hang up and put away and yeah i'm um, also tonight i need to go to the gym again because i need to walk which is why i haven't showered and stuff yet um after i do my workout i'm supposed to walk for 30 minutes on a treadmill or outside but preferably on a treadmill so i can get a good incline but i just didn't i said let's it's get late in the day and we really want to clean we've been putting off cleaning our place for long enough like i told you guys because all the stuff that i had on my cabinets i feel like i couldn't really clean it the way i wanted to so or countertops i couldn't really clean it the way i wanted to so i'm too excited to to do that and i'm gonna I'm try to go walk tonight before bed oh excuse me before bed so yeah that's that's all i wanted to say just get up here and say good morning or good afternoon how y'all doing? And to let you know what the plans are for essentially the next two days. <sighs> so let me drink my smoothie. Check my text messages and respond to people. And, you know, we'll go from there. I 
I'm from Market. Take me off the map. I'm trying to hit the group chat. Tell them it's all raps. It is quite some time later. It is now 10 o'clock p.m. And I am sitting in the living room eating the second half of my salad with some chicken and about to watch a movie on the TV. I'm about to watch Sweeney Todd. I have never seen Sweeney Todd. So I'm excited to see what is given. And yeah, that is it for tonight. I did not organize the kitchen or reorganize the kitchen. So that's going to be a project for tomorrow um along with the other things that i want to do tomorrow but and i also did not go to the gym and do my walk so when i said it earlier i kind of thought it wasn't gonna happen but i had hope but <sighs> that didn't work or happen so yeah but let me go the movie is starting bye love you good night